I would say that India is one of the most dynamic and fast-changing media markets in the world at the moment. Um, but I still think there's room for everybody. It's a growing market and there's room for everybody. Um, the BBC has been in India for generations, but it's not the same BBC today as it used to be. So we, you know, we still broadcast on shortwave radio in Hindi to the northern states. Um, but we also have a Hindi TV program that goes out on ETV. And we have websites uh, in English, in bbc.com and hindi.com, which are growing really quickly now. Um, so Hindi, the Hindi website has grown 140% in the last year. Uh, BBC.com, which is larger, has grown about uh, 25% in India. So the, the market is growing, uh, and digital is at the forefront of that growth, undeniably. Um, and I think that's driven uh, particularly by mobile phones. So um, more and more people are connecting to the mobile web, and they're con- getting more of their news via mobile phones. And that's true of lots of countries, but India's a very good example of where that revolution is happening very quickly. So the future of news is going to be that... M- the latest news and the breaking news is most likely to be to come people on their phones via news organisations or via social media. And the job of television, and even more so with newspapers, won't be to break the news, it will be to discuss or contextualise or explain the news or find their own exclusive news stories which aren't already circulating in the media. So India is different to um, some other parts of the world like Western Europe or the US where newspapers appear to be in quite rapid decline now in terms of their circulation and also the, the, as, as businesses because the advertising money has moved away to, to online. Uh, in India, clearly it's different. Newspapers are still flourishing here. More newspapers are being launched. Vernacular languages are moving into print in and in a, in a, continue to expand. So I don't think that print is over in India or some other emerging and developing economies in the way that it has in uh, in, in the West and in, uh, in North America in particular. For India this year, um, it's to, con- to grow our reach and our audience on digital platforms. So uh, BBC has a uh, publicly declared ambition to double our international cross-platform reach outside the UK uh, to 500 million a month by, 20- 500 million a week, forgive me, by 2022. Um, and news will be at the forefront of that growth and news consumed on digital will be the largest driver of growth. So we see opportunities to develop social media, to develop online video, uh, and to develop um, new apps and, and websites that to increase our traffic and our engagement on digital. There are no immediate plans. We do also have Urdu uh, and a small Tamil service as well. That's mostly radio. Um, but what we, what we are interested in are the opportunities to translate content into new languages. So I, and I think it's more likely in the future that rather than produce lots of new output in produced by different teams of journalists or writing in different languages, um, it's more likely that we'll explore opportunities to make our content more widely available in more languages through translation. Because some of the technology uh, for machine-assisted translation of text and video is improving quite rapidly, and we're, and we're investing in that um, to see what we can do with it.